you cannot be a leader and not upset somebody and you cannot be a leader without courage and you cannot be a leader many times without thinking twice about if I do this what's going to happen but the thing that I have found if you will embrace it the opportunity in being a leader lies in this notion that you might not get another chance to do whatever it is that needs to be done right now I have brought a real um, style of collaboration to leadership because collaboration uh, requires very hard work. It's not the same thing as compromise. Some people think compromise is the way to lead. It is the leadership of last resort because collaboration means that we get all the different groups in the room, listen to everybody's ideas. It takes much longer, but you get better policy as a result of that. As a woman, as an African-American, I have to be so much more prepared. It is still the case. All those things my teacher said to me about you have to be twice as good as, that's still true today, very much. And I just embrace it and move on. But I think leadership means that you have the patience and, and you, you take the time to honor those who are different from you. And every time you will get a conglomeration of ideas and you will get a, you know, almost what I think of as an alloy of commitment from people that's going to be so much stronger, but at the same time, much more nimble to respond to all the needs that are out there. If you just leave and go to Atlanta, Chicago, to Dallas, where everything is great, then what's your contribution? Everybody else has done the work. So what's your contribution if you are just following a trail that's already been blazed? It's up to you to blaze a trail. And you have an obligation to do it somewhere and contribute to humanity. And there is no better humanity than right here in Arkansas where you got your roots.